What's going on? How you doing? This video is going to be about Houston Astros pitcher Justin Verlander, who threw his third career no-hitter. At the age of 36, he's the first oldest pitcher since Randy Johnson to do it. This is Verlander's second career no-hitter against the Toronto Blue Jays. I've always looked at Verlander like the baseball pitching version of Aaron Rodgers, because I thought he was so freaking good as a right-hander. And he, I thought, when the Astros got him, I said, that is going to be the one that puts them over. If the Strohs go back to the World Series and, and win again, the Verlander pickup would be the coup that did it. it he, to me, he was that last piece that put the, the icing on the cake. He's always been a great pitcher. I am more impressed, I want to say, because the fact not only is his third career no-hitter, and he's one of the only three pitchers who've ever thrown uh, multi no hitters um, against certain to get same team, but also to have three no hitters in his career, which is heck of impressive. But no hitters is like a um, it's a loss art for a pitcher to be that to do that, especially with the pitch counts and the systems and how things are so um, you know all about. Um, I'm trying to think of the term I want to use because it's like um, they are analytics. And actually, I've always said this about Houston. The analytics, the analytics that the Houston Rockets and Daryl Martley, the GM of the Houston Rockets basketball team, always talks about actually applies to the Houston Astros baseball team because the Strolls truly get the analytics aspect. I mean, the way that they pitch, the way they hit, their style, you know. As a New York Yankee fan, yeah, I want to see Yankees and put the Dodgers in the World Series because it looks like it's a, a showdown that's ready to happen because of the two best records and teams. However, I'm not no fool and I'm not oblivious and blind. The Houston Astros are the team you got to go through. And the Strolls have been arguably the best team in baseball the last four or five years. Now, they got one chip out of it and they got – uh, beating the playoffs last year to Boston, but that's they you can tell that this is a team they can they can get at it. And um they're the one team they get hot, they can beat they're that good. And they they've been very dominant on both sides. And having a guy like Justin Verlander just solidifies their chances to probably get back again. And Verlander is still balling. So that was a heck of impressive no hitter he did yesterday. His velocity, his his uh, zone and his, his, you know, he hits locations. The man's still a top tier pitcher. And I thought when the Astros got him a few years ago, I was mad the Yankees couldn't get him because I thought, man, Verlander, I always said it had the Aaron Rodgers type of thing. You just got to put the right system behind him and he can win. And he, he balling. So that was impressive that he threw his third career no hitter yesterday. It was very sharp. All right, give me your thoughts and takes about Justin Verlander and his place in history as a pitcher and the fact that he threw his third career no-hitter and uh, is still going strong. Won a ring already with the Astros. Might do it again. We'll see. Hit the like and subscribe and the bell ring. This is a new video. You have a good day. Peace.